Wagwan, my name is Ramin and welcome to Picatude. And in this video, I'm going to show you how a personalized color changing mug is done. So, make sure you subscribe, um, comment, and share this video with a friend. So, stick around to the end of this video. I'm going to show you all, like, this process is, sometimes you make errors. So, I'm going to show you at the end of this video where I made... Um, an error. So here I did some mugs for um, for stewards and here you see me attaching the the printed image printed in reverse and I'm using some heat tape to affix the, the trend the print to the mug. So here I'm putting another sheet of paper. It's just a blank copy paper I'm putting on. And this is just to protect um, the heating element of the mug press so that the ink doesn't bleed through because sublimation ink tends to be you know, permanent. So I don't want that to get on the, the heat platter and the, the mug press. So. Alright, so here I'm, I'm putting on another image again on the mug. Process is basically the same, attaching the image to the mug. So it's basically cutting the image to size and tape it in, taping it onto the mug using heat transfer tape. Or if you want to say heat resistive tape. And again, putting on that cover. Um, paper to protect the heating element of the mug press so um, that's basically the, the general process so coming up you'll see another image where basically have a bunch of them because I think it was like 30 mugs so here you see me have a bunch of them laying on the table um, so I kind of because I can press five mugs at once so I kind of get a head start in like, you know, pre doing a lot of them rather than having to wait to wrap the image on the mug. So that's the five in one mug press. You see me. Um, so what I'm doing there is basically adjusting the temperature because it does require a specific temperature to press the mugs and also a specific time. So. That is what I'm doing there. Um, the flickering of the lights, that's not how it is in real life. It's just that the camera is not able to make that um, LED light static because of the LED use. All right, so here you see me loading the mugs inside of the heating element of the mug press. So as I outlined earlier, it's basically pressing five mugs at once. Prior to having this mug press, it would have been you know, pressing each mug one after the other. So a mug would have uh, one mug, the pressing time is like three to four minutes. So just imagine doing 30 mugs um, and having to wait three to four months, minutes for each mugs to be done. All right, so this is just a top view of me loading the mug in the press. And this is a front view. So I just pushed the timer to stop it because you know, it was sped up. So I'm just showing you at the end of you know, the completion time the mugs being you know run through the duration of the required time so I'm unloading the mugs from the press so loading in another set of five and then I'll move forward to you know, taking off the transfer paper off of the mugs to reveal the images All 
right so here is me putting the mug in, in the frame and basically just peeling off the paper off so as mentioned in the beginning of the video it's a color changing mug and it's activated by heat so the image is visible and then as soon as it cools down then it will go back to that black state Alright, so this is the image I was telling you guys about. Alright, so if you look closely, you will see me, you know, making the attempt to put the image on the mug. However, you notice that you're seeing the print. It shouldn't be that way. The image should have been placed facing the mug. So this was, like, <laughs> horrible, you know. And the exclamation I made when I took this from the press, like, was crazy. You know, because that was like, you know, a print wasted and a mug wasted. So, I, I, I put this in here just to make sure you guys be aware that, you know, this process, you're going to make errors. Just know that that's normal, that's fine. And you just have to try as best as possible to mitigate you making these errors. So, thank you for watching this video. And... Please consider to subscribe, share this video with a friend who you know might be interested in started doing their own mug business or any form of personalization because here on the channel we're doing t-shirts, mugs, all things sublimation. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.